Hey everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to create this quick video and show you guys how I'm creating this collapsible menu within Flutterflow. So this is going to be for the web app version. And as you can see, I'm using canvas kit. Um, so canvas kit basically renders your flutter and like, if you have a web app and iOS and Android, and you want it to be pixel perfect across all of them, this will allow that it does come with like a little bit of a bigger file size. So longer to load time on web, but it'll actually look better. So yeah, so here it is basically when you hover over it, it's going to expand and then the different menu items will have a little animation and stuff. I also created this little hover animation on the notifications. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, essentially what we have for this is going to be a maps region widget. Okay. So we wrap the entire thing in a mouse region widget. The way that we're basically controlling this is just through an if conditional with the width. The coolest thing about using mouse region is it makes these if conditionals and conditional visibility super easy because it automatically returns a Boolean. So you just literally have to, you know, type in here mouse and there it is. Boom. So that's really awesome. So, so if it's hovered, we're expanding our width to 270 else it's going to be 76. And you might be asking, well, Daniel, how did you come up with this 76 number? Well, let me tell you guys, I did math. So basically what I did was I counted all my padding and stuff. So I counted this padding for my column. I counted the icon size and stuff like that. And that's how I also came up with how to display this logo and the size of that logo. So I have two versions of my logo right here, and they're both have the if condition or the conditional visibility logic on it. Essentially you just do the exact same thing. Like I said, just mouse region hover. <laughs> it, it's so easy. It's incredible. I love it. And then for this one, basically. We want this one to display when we're not over it, over it. So I just checked the supply opposite statement. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Sorry, guys. Really excited about how easy this is. So the other thing here is we're hiding every single text and I have my padding set with this text on this text uh, widget. So when it, when it hides, you can see. Yeah. So we just have the icon. So this row is going to shrink just to the icon. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Yeah. And then for the other part of it, I added some on action trigger animation for it to scale. And I did the final, uh, scale 1.05. I found 1.1 to be too big. So yeah, so that's how it collapses like that. And then on hover we're doing that. Yeah. So it's scaling a little bit and then it's highlighting the box behind it. And so how we're highlighting the, the, the box color is we're just doing an if conditional. So, and obviously we're adding a third condition here because as you can see, like, so when it's selected tab, our icons color is going to change and then it's going to have this gray box behind it. Like, so if we're on this page, that's how it's going to look. If we're hovering this and we go to this page, it's going to look like this. Great. All right. I hope you guys really enjoy this and I'll create some more UI UX stuff as I develop out this project. This one is a personal side project. It's not for a client. This is something I'm super passionate about and it's going to be called no code for nonprofit. Basically. It's going to connect no coders with uh, nonprofits who are in need of some software solutions. And essentially they will be able to get paired with a no coder and the benefit for the no coder is going to be, you will get like actual testimonials and reviews that you can use on your 
portfolio or whatever. And yeah, working on something that's going to be in production, like an actual product with actual users, whether it's internal tools and the nonprofit themselves are going to use it, or if it's something for the people that they serve. Anyways, yeah, sorry. The end of this video is mainly about this project and why I'm passionate about it and how it's going to work. So if you're a no coder that is interested to further your skills and work on something that will be in production, as well as get some testimonials and feedback for your freelancing work. Yeah, I would love it if you would sign up. Uh, I don't have a beta sign up yet, but I will get a link to you if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching as usual and let me know if you guys want to see anything else.